What's going on YouTube? Kyron back up in here with another video and today we are going to be reviewing Post Archive Faction 6.0 collection. That's Post Archive Faction, not Fashion, P-A-F. Uh, they were kind enough to send me a decent amount of the 6.0 collection, I believe like seven pieces. Uh, so we're gonna be running through what Post Archive Action is. If you guys haven't heard of them already, a bit of like a breakdown of what their collection consists of in terms of how they formulate it and then go through the actual collection itself. So it'll be an exciting video. I don't think you guys really get a full depth into a lot of the brands that I talk about. So like to have a dedicated video on it, is gonna be a dope one, so. There's a lot of details that go into Post Archive Faction, so there's a few bullet points that I wanted to make sure that I cover very briefly. So Post Archive Faction was established in 2018. It has articulated its vision by blurring boundaries between the norms of establishing design landscape, deconstructing resembling garments and objects in order to explore the new areas of human creativity. So what I take from that is that path kind of takes, well, I like to say it in short, but they like for you guys to say Post Archive Faction in whole. It's like a Tribe Called Quest, you say the whole thing, okay? Like a Tribe Called Quest, you say the whole thing. What I take from that is that they take pre-existing garments, like things that you see like bomber jackets, your everyday pants, but they take it a little bit further. They make it a bit more complicated on different ends of the spectrum, and we'll get into that with their subsections of the brand. So we'll get into the brand name itself. Post means after, archive means having enough value to be preserved. Faction is a term brought from politics, meaning a group of people from the mainstream. In one sentence, post archive faction, PAF means a group of people creating value that could be preserved in the future. Beautiful sentiment. So we're gonna get into the subsections of the brand right now. This is something that I find really interesting and beautiful about post archive faction is that it's broken down into right, center, and left. And the way that I was explain the this construct is kind of like politics. So there's like left wing and right wing, but the only difference with politics, there's no center wing. There's nobody that's in between, but we're gonna get into what that means exactly for the brand. So they elaborated that they approached the design by classifying our archive into three different positions. First one being right, which is fundamental model. The second being center, which is the bridging model. So bridging between either construct. And then the left is a radical model. So radical means a lot more elaborate, a lot more crazy, funky designs, things that you might not see in the everyday. And then yeah, fundamental being more conservative tone down, chill. So that's how they kind of break down the subsections of the brand. So another sentence that they gave me that was really beautiful that I wanted to highlight, the classification model gives opportunity to explore the most basic to the most radical elements of our design, which we used to question, disrupt, and evolve. So they kind of break down each and every piece that could be as simple as, like I said before, a bomber jacket. You can make it completely radical and also simplify it to uh, a whole other client. So it really touches every single type of person that would want to consume this brand. So that's why I like it so much. It's very inclusive and anyone can kind of find themselves within this brand, which is really nice. Well, now we find ourselves on the Togo getting very cozy. This is a perfect time to give a special shout out to Nice Tones. I really appreciate them for letting me use this space. Togo is a dream couch of mine. The most comfortable couch you'll probably ever sit on. That's no glaze, no cap. We'll just get back into it though. So. We're gonna talk about some of the achievements and acknowledgements that really highlight post archive action and what they're capable of. Being an LVMH prize semifinalist in 2021, crazy. Not many people get to even say that about their brand. So that just shows you the caliber of what they're capable of. Hypebeast 100, 2021 and 2022, crazy. And then a few things that I'm gonna highlight on the screen while I'm editing this video is that some things that you might have familiarized yourself with seeing post archive action. They actually collaborated with Off-White um, some time ago it was like, one of the things that kind of brought a lot of eyes to the brand. Um, they kind of had this like leafy textured jacket that was really, really cool. I've seen like people like Bloody Osiris wear it and a lot of things of that nature. So that brought a lot of eyes to Post Archive Faction in case you guys haven't seen that before, but yeah. Really cool collab, definitely love that one. Also, they did a pop-up at Essex, which is a great store in NYC. Really fantastic store. If you guys haven't been to New York, definitely recommend you guys checking that out. And the last thing that I wanted to highlight is their Soul flagship store. It kind of looks like a gallery space, which is super beautiful. That's something that I personally love in a brand that it's not super transactional and just like a corporate landscape. It actually gives some type of beauty to the brand and lets the clothes kind of speak for itself. And that's what their space definitely does. Amazing stuff going on with Post Archive Faction and enough of me yapping. We're gonna get into the clothes and I'm actually wearing one of them right now. So we're gonna get into that first. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna get into some of the clothes. So I was wearing Post Archive Faction during that whole 
brand breakdown of what they're all about. So this is the first hoodie. This is the right hoodie, I believe. So like I was saying before, broken down into left, center, and right. This is right, so it's a lot more toned down. The only detail that there is, hey, yo, don't be looking at my bum like that, but there's a little, <laughs> there's a little zip that lets you expose the clothes beneath so you could kind of get some like layering action. Like if I was wearing like more of a colorful base layer, you could see a lot more of it, but it allows it to be a bit more breathable. It's interesting, definitely. And this is all South Korean fabric. Lots of nice details though, like how they split the seam right here. Just devil is really in the details with this brand. Like the hood as well too. Kind of gives you like an athletic hoodie type of vibe. So yeah, the right hoodie. Okay, so this is the technical jacket in black. So yes, like I said before, this is the 6.0 technical jacket left in black. It features asymmetrical crack and color contrast panels throughout the whole garment. Uh, there's also dark details placed by the crack design, creating a dynamic silhouette. Uh, all of them are South Korean fabrics. The membrane coated water repellent anti-drop features a breathable three layer performance fabric, which is stretchable and durable at the same time, which is really sick. 95% nylon and 5% elastane. Fantastic, honestly, like really, really complex design. I don't even know where they would begin with a pattern like this, but it's beautiful to say the least. All right, you guys, so this is kind of giving me the I shot my face wall type feeling, you know? It's like the back room's dress, but this is the technical jacket we got on. Really cool, because you got the like little membrane detailing in between the different fabrics, and that goes all the way around the whole garment. Very, very technical. Like, I don't even know where you begin to make a pattern like this. I say that all the time when I see paths stuff but when i see these type of garments it even makes me think of that even more but yeah great adapter we're not the same now well. so this is the 6.0 bomber center in black uh, the bomber jacket features this asymmetrical design element throughout the garment it's really sick because it has this curved zipper line interacting with the different fabric panels uh, the chest pocket provides a comfortable storage for daily items whatever you want to fill in there it'll easily hold it like your iphone 15 pro max even if you hold one of those it'll be perfect in that so yeah all made in south korea once again beautiful All right, so here we got one of the bombers on. Once again, this is the asymmetrical situation. I really like this because of how it fits on me. I had a, a green iteration from, I believe, the 5.0 collection not too long ago, and it was beautiful. Same asymmetrical type of detail. Gives just like a nice little touch to an item that is very familiar to a lot of us. And yeah, cool little hand pocket right there. The little details of like how the fabrics differ and you can actually like do a bottom opening. So the styling gives you a lot of options with that, how you can layer up with the garment. And yeah, super sick. Is there anything on the back, Brian? Yeah, it's like the same Yeah. So, and this is the 6.0 Bomber in black, also the right segment of the brand. The bomber jacket has this logo on the back uh, with embroidery details, of course, uh, with the zipper line detail going through the garment. Uh, makes makes for an openable back and neck zipper details also allowing you to have this layering option while styling the garment, which is really nice. So you could see a lot of the base layers while getting a freak on with the styling, which is sick. So South Korean fabrics, membrane coated water repellent anti-drop finish with a breathable two layer light performance fabric throughout the garment. Um, has two way YKK Excella zippers at the front with a polar and a one YKK concealer at the back and neck with two pockets at the front um, with a bar tack finish. All made in South Korea, beautiful nylon. So sorry if things sound a little crumbly, it's just because of how resilient this fabric is. So you versus rain, you're gonna be okay in this jacket. We've got the bomber 
going crazy. The details on this one. There's a logo on the back, I believe, right? Yep. Nice little logo on the back. And it's a very resilient fabric. So if you're gonna be dancing in the rain, like you're in You Got Serve, you're gonna be good. So yeah. <laughs> This is the technical jacket right segment in matcha colorway. Beautiful color, by the way. Really nice for the spring. If you like to set matcha, this is the one for you. This is a versatile jacket with functionality and hidden design details. Uh, has an openable back center allowing for diverse layering when styling and the waist pocket at the back for daily uh, item carriage. Whatever you want to throw in there, you can put it in for daily carry for sure. Um, so it's a custom made South Korean fabric, water repellent, um, soft to the touch, very durable, it has like a 2.5 layering fabric. All right, so we have the technical jacket in matcha. Really like this color for the spring. I feel like it's a good accent from my typical wearing all black situation. But yeah, cool contrast of different fabrics that we have here. Like I said, that color really just pops. And one of the main features is this back zip. So you could kind of like see the layer of different fabrics that you're wearing below and then there's also this like little belt situation i believe with a pocket so yeah keep that thing tucked if you need to and these are the technical right pants in black also 6.0 collection whole thing is 6.0 collection but you guys knew that already these pants were based off the 5.0 plus technical pants with enhanced functionality by using custom made fabric and a detachable bag on the side which is really sick uh kind of gives you this accessory that's built into the garment, which is really exciting. Uh, organic shaped bag offering versatile storage for a phone, earphones, or other daily items that you may carry on a daily basis. South Korean fabric, once again, very stretchable, very breathable, nice little flared fit. So it has two re-re zips, Cobrax closures for the link between the pants, um, and it's all made in South Korea. So it's made with the highest so it features a YKK concealer zipper closure on the bag and also it also featured two Riri zippers in addition to that Cobrax closure for the link in between the pants. Um, they're just made with the highest regard. Every single detail that you can think of was thought of in these pants for sure. All right, so here we have the trousers now with the cool little pocket. Like I said before, these are like inspired by the 5.1 pants, but now they made them a whole lot better, basically. It comes with this cool little bag that you can also put on other things. So it's like a two-in-one special. Has this flared fit that rests nicely on the comb foams. And then, yeah, nice starting details, cool little pockets. Had a lot of little Little knickknacks, trinkets in there, snacks, whatever you want. And yeah, cool fit. Cool. So this is the leather jacket, right? Really nice garment bag right here. It says Post Archive Faction. Take that out. Yeah, this beautiful leather jacket. All right, so this is the 6.0 leather jacket right segment in black. This is a reinterpretation of the 5.1 jacket, right? With leather fabric this time, obviously. So it's an improved fit, a three-dimensional elbow pattern, which creates a distinctive silhouette and allows for like a comfortable movement whenever you're walking around in this piece. Um, it's also in South Korean leather, specifically to the region. Two-way YKK Excella zippers at the front two pockets at the front with a bar tack finish and two inner pockets as well. Uh, standard straight collar and it's 100% leather made in South Korea. All right, so here we have the jacket, the leather jacket. This is probably my favorite piece from the 6.0 collection personally. It smells divine, of course. 
you have that good South Korean leather going on. You also have these little elbow details that kind of add to the shape of the jacket. Makes me do this, which is good. So <laughs> really, really nice classic standard leather jacket. Um, definitely something that with age and wear will just get more and more character and development over time. So yeah. Sorry if that was crazy, but it had to be done. All right, so this is actually how I would style some of the pieces. This one is mixed with some of the things I would wear in a regular attire with some of the post archive action stuff as well. Yeah, Bomber Center in black, my bad. Um, so it has this asymmetrical details, like I said before. It's kind of cool, like I said, you play with the styling, show more of the depth in the outfit. And below that, we have the hoodie as well. So yeah, nice layering. You get to see the dimension of post archive factionness, of course. And then below that, we have some camel shorts, some low leggings, and some combat boots as well. So nice little balanced outfit, something cool for like the spring or the winter if you're brave. And yeah, I like this one. All right, so this is how I would style both the leather jacket and the trousers together basically all black. Sneakers is a hot take for this one, but I used boots for the last fit, so I just wanted to spice it up a little bit. But it still does work if you want something a bit kind of cool and classy on the top and then you sport it out on the bottom just to make it a bit more cash. So yeah, what I like about the zipper is that you could kind of put it halfway so that you're a bit more mobile in the waist section. If you want a rumba, tumba, make a fumba, tango, anything. But yeah, this is what's going on with this fit. Let me know how you guys like the styling portion. Of course, you know, that's what I do. I does this. All right, you guys. So that is my review of Post Archive Factions 6.0 collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to the whole team. I really appreciate them for giving me this beautiful opportunity. Uh, the South Korean brands are up right now. They're doing amazing things. And this is by far probably up there with one of my favorite South Korean brands, if not the top spot you know it's a it's a tough debate but they're definitely up there i really hope to go to south korea one day and really build that dynamic with the team and that is something that we have been talking about so hopefully in the future i will be able to provide that content for you guys it really depends on how this video goes so you guys have to like this video subscribe of course and you know keep on following what i'm doing on the socials you know tiktok's going crazy ig's going crazy of course but yeah shout out to the post archive faction team path and without you guys things like this wouldn't be possible shout out to nice tones as well for the beautiful studio and shout out to bryant for helping me film i'll see you guys on the next one peace